Hi, so this is the Gigabyte Dual BIOS 78LMT, and I'm going to go through each and every inch of the motherboard in very uh, zoomed in detail. So here's the unboxing. Let me go through the box. This is the ultra durable, which means again, it um, uh, basically has a dual BIOS, meaning that if one BIOS gets fried, uh, the other one has a copy and going to the back of the box actually let me go to the back of the box you'll see um, some of the features here and once again uh, I'm gonna uh, unbox this and go through each and every inch so you can see uh, the details um, but it does support USB 3.0 it does have a VGA port and a DVI port so it is uh, one of the sort of older models and it does have four SIM slots or DIM slots. And actually, let me just go ahead and open it. So I'm gonna open it up here. And you'll see it comes with two SATA cables, which is nice, especially the ones with the L shaped. And it's funny, it has an IDE cable. Um, this will probably never be used. Uh, the plate in the back. A manual. A driver disc, and it does have video along with it, so... Alright, now for the important motherboard itself. So, go ahead and open this up. And you can see it does have the plate in the back which is used to support the mounting of the fan. And let me now zoom in. So let, let me go through each and every inch like this first. So you could see there's the, um, actually let, let me show you the general features up, up top first. And then I'll zoom in to each and every uh, square inch of this. So the, the first thing you'll notice is it does have the four SIM slots. And um, as far as the things in the back, you'll see there's the two blue USB 3.0. There's this uh, there's the PSI. Uh, not PSI, uh, PS1 mouse and keyboard, the two USBs, which is uh, USB 2.0, DVI, VGA, a, uh, double check what that is, I, I think it's a HDMI, does it look like an HDMI, I have to double check, um, and then here's a gigabit network port, the sound, and you'll see there's, uh, I guess now is a good time to zoom in to each and every, each and every little, so, let me go through and see. There's the PCI slots. It's even a COM port. Here's the SATA headers. And now going through
And once again, going back down. Here's more SATA connectors. So there's actually six SATA connectors. And you'll see the power port there. It's the CPU. Here's the ATX 12 volt connector. And then going through down, this is a AMD 3 plus socket. And you'll see there's the CPU fan right there. And let me work my way down this way, so you can see. There, there's the oddly there's the IDE cable connector, and and this motherboard isn't that legacy that there there should even be a IDE cable connector, but nonetheless it's there. And there's the CMOS clearing of the CMOS. And let me work my way up this way. And, and you'll see there, there's another plug there for the system fan. And that's the CPU fan. System fan being right here. CPU fan being right there. And that's really it. That's um, let me zoom in here. That that's the audio, and here's the various front end connections and front end connectors for the USBs. So th these are the case. The uh, you the usually in the front of the cases you'll have uh, USB connections. That's what that's for. Um, but that's really it. Um, I think that's as detailed as I can get as far as what's available on this motherboard. And uh, thank you for watching.